hey guys yeah welcome back to my youtube channel yeah, in this particular video i'll show you guys how i was able to achieve the last footer on my smartphone without wasting our time let's begin so i'll change my background color to black i'll import character just importing the character it's actually not simple Then right now i'll add a shape these grid lines you are saying i created them myself for easy one so it won't be stressful so i will add another shape right here then the radius is up to you you can give it any radius you want i'll be using 35 for my own then i'll add another shape over here I'll give it also color black. One more shape here. Color black also. Then the last shape is for here. So I will give it radius 35 also. So this shape over here, this curved shape, we created first. I'll move it. Yeah. So this one also, I'll edit it. So I think I need to increase the radius. Then I'll move this back to the edge yeah it's okay like this so i'll merge the layers together i'll erase my color i'll remove the black parts yes the next thing i'll do now is to add an image so the image now i'll give that also for the black then stroke i'll give it gradients in my brain so I'll give the gradient 3 then the first shape I'll bring it to front yeah so next thing now is to add some shapes right here give it radius I'm using 30 then mark it inner shadow turn it on use color white then duplicate the shape and edit it so I'll move it like this yeah I'm good so this shape up here I'll bring it to front yeah so we have the look already so now we just need to add block so I will save this to my gallery as image is like this i'll save it to my gallery as image yeah then the next thing i'll be saving is this the background should be transparent then save as image ultra yeah then for the final one is this transparent also remove the stroke effect for this before exporting save as image ultra so right now i open my pscc i'll select the image we exported on pixel lab this I'll give it Gaussian blur. I'll be using 60. Done. Then I'll save it. Save it to your gallery. Yes. Then open Pixel Lab again. 
So I'll bring my background back and I'll make this invisible. I'll make this visible back. Then I'll import this image we exported, this shape. Increase the relative size. Then the other shape also. Increase the relative size. Then bring this top of this. Lock your layers. So right now let's apply the blur. Just add texture and select the blur and mark it. So it's not looking good like this. So you have to add the inner shadow with color white. So you add little blur radius, then increase your offset. Why? Increase, not decrease. I'm using 11 right now. Now mark it. So this one, this other shape, I'll bring it to the back of these green shapes. Then I'll give this also texture. Then I'll use the blur image. Yeah. As you can see, we have the effects already. So for this image right here, this one, you see the one I'm talking about. So you edit it, you remove the opacity, then you add your stroke to the main one. Yeah, so you can have the stroke on this image right here. So lastly, you can literally add something like team to it, which is like this. You just add color, then use, you see it's looking reddish. You can make it look black or white. You see, or use white. You see that? Yeah, it's up to you. You can play around with it, try other styles. That's how I achieve the glass effect on my smartphone. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.